Sun Engine is really working on Eureka. They are treating it as a good phone. They are continuously pushing updates for this. They have just now pushed an update for this phone known as Sun Engine Mode 12S, the 12 that it's running on, and the build number is YNG1TS1K0. By the way, this is Sharun here from 247 Techie, and in this video, I will be showing you how to install that update. We have downloaded the update from uh, from the XDA forums and it is the official update, it is the official link. I will be leaving that link into the description and uh, we don't need any root access, we don't need any custom recovery for this uh, update. We will just be going into the sign engine recovery and installing the update. One of the easiest forms to do it. So I will be showing you in this video. So this will, first of all, we will um, download the um, file and uh, put it in. Uh, put it into the. F Sorry, I've downloaded it from the computer and transferred it uh, into the com in the internal memory. Internal memory is a bit fast than uh, SD card, so I've uh, just uh, transferred it into recovery. So in this, we will be going into the advanced developers, which we can switch it on with this build number after tapping it uh, 10 times or 11 times we can we can get into the developers option in developers option we will switch on the advanced reboot after advanced reboot we will go into reboot and into recover recovery ok let it boot into the recovery this is an engine recovery no custom recovery So yeah, in this you can see Sun Engine Recovery. In this we will go into the uh, apply updates and apply from ABD, uh, apply from internal storage, zero for the internal storage and go into CM this folder, this file. This is the file that we have just now downloaded. So Sun Engine is going to have a issue with this issue. First of all, issue is that they have a different issue. If they have a different issue, this will be the best one that you can do with India. And this one is going to be the best one that you can do And uh, yeah, I really like this one. I'm having a business device which I use. If I use it, it's in my different manual. So I really like this one. The big problem is the issue. If the issue is fixed, this will be the best one. So the phone is updated, which is basic. As you uh, as you can see the uh, update is finished so now we'll be back into the sun engine recovery we will just reboot the system now and wait for the phone to reboot So guys as you can see as usual Eureka is taking a very long time to upgrade. Android is upgrading they have been on this for more than 5 to 7 minutes now. I have been cutting a bit of video and uh, as you can see it's really very slow. So far they have only reached 103 yep. and oh. The temperature is too high. It's too high. It's above 50. Yeah, it's above 50 easily. I don't have my temp heat gun uh, temperature gun right now, but uh, it's easily above 50.
I'm just still waiting for it to finish and I can show you guys what's all new if there is something new and I don't really think so the heating issue has been fixed I'll be back again so guys as you can see I have just now removed the back cover of this phone because it's really getting very hot right now yeah, I don't have a I don't have a temperature gun <coughs> with me otherwise I would have shown you the temperature it's getting very really hot so I've just now removed the back cover back door of this so that uh, a little bit of uh, cooling can take place and sign engine was saying that they have fixed the heating issue I don't really think that they have fixed the heating issue I guess they have put it on more heating because as I can feel it it's really getting very bad I've also started the stopwatch and uh, it will be showing how much time is it taking I started it it was when it was on 110 and it's still on 110 it's been more than 30 40 seconds I guess since it has been on 110 it has been a minute now and it has been still on 110 and red is upgrading isn't it a bit too slow to upgrade? By the way, this is my OnePlus One. As you guys can see, it is still stuck on 110. It's been more more than two minutes. On the stopwatch, it's been 150, 155. But I switched it on five or ten seconds after it came on this because I didn't know it will take so much of time. It's been more than 10 minutes, uh, no, 15 minutes because I guess uh, it was 5, 5 or 5, 10 when I started to upgrade it and now it's 5.25 exactly and it's st still upgrading. Finally it's 111. It's taken more than 4 minutes to upgrade one app. the temperature is still rising there is no there is no stoppage to that I, I hope this doesn't damage my cover yeah, this is also hot now guys due to the heating issue I am placing the phone like this so that there can be some air to pass through but the android is still upgrading and as you can see it's still on 122 and it's been more than 12 and a half minutes since 110 so only 12 apps updated in 12 minutes 13 minutes that's really very very slow guys as you can see in the background the stopwatch is more than 16 and a half minutes and it has only upgraded 17 apps in that time because I I started these uh, stopwatch around 110 when the apps were optimized until 110 so it's taking very long time to update upgrade anything and the phone is heating a lot the temperatures are I guess the temperatures are above 150 no sorry 50 degrees Celsius not 150 it's too much yeah, I've kept the phone like this so that you can see both the things that it's still upgrading I have removed the back panel of the phone so that it can so that the a little bit of heat can pass through a little bit of air or heat anything and it's more than 17 minutes now and it's still on 127 it's taking very long time guys do remember that the the room that I'm shooting this video in is air conditioned so the heating that is taking place is just under the air condition so, so you can uh, imagine if you if you are using this phone outside somewhere and that too in India because it's an Indian exclusive phone 
the phone is in danger as you can see guys it's been more than 21 minutes and the android is still upgrading it's on 128 now i started this on uh, 20 110 sorry i started it on 110 when the apps were optimized till 110 so it's been 18 apps in 21 minutes just 18 apps in 21 minutes so it's taking a very long time it's also heating a lot i do not have a heat gun i should have had a heat gun today so that i could have checked the temperature it most probably it's going above 50 degrees so guys it's on 131 now yeah. as you can see it's on 131 and the temp and the stopwatch is on uh, 22 so yeah 20 yeah 22 and a half so it's taken more than 22 23 minutes to upgrade it and it's still on 131 so it's the upgrade is still not finished android is upgrading starting apps it's on 23 finishing boot 23 minutes it has just now touched 23 minutes so it is now booted up after 23 and a half minutes it has taken 23 and a half minutes to upgrade from 110 to 131 I will stop this mark we will stop the watch and you can and as you can see that uh, it's on 23 and a half so it's still pretty hot double tap to wake is still supported as it's very hot the throttling is taking place the android is upgrading it's lagging a bit we'll check the lag again so as you can see the lag yep. the lag is pretty dominant right now so the thing I will do is the thing I will do is I will switch the phone off for 15 minutes and come back to you after it cools down so guys it has been more than 15 to 20 minutes since I upgraded the phone the upgrade finish it took more than 23 25 minutes just to upgrade from 110 to 131 apps number and uh, I, I switched off the phone took out the battery and left left the phone like this for 15 minutes and now I'm back and uh, the temperature is good enough now it's all good now I will be adding assembling the phone back and switching it on all good yeah. as you all guys know we have just now installed an update and uh, it took a l very long time to optimize the apps according to the design engine that they were updating and Sorry for the light. So, as you guys can see, the phone has switched on. There is no lag that we can uh, that I can notice, as you can see, and you can see my apps also. There was no big game or there was no such app that should have taken so much of time. All are very small apps. All running okay, not as smooth as it should have been. As you can see, the Sun Engine OS version has changed. It is now this. It's still running on 5.0.2. .2. 
ऑलमोस्ट न्यू ऑलमोस्ट द लेटेस्ट या सो ये एज यू कैन सी गाइज दर इज नो लैग दैट वी कैन नोटिस आई विल कॉल द कस्टमर केयर नंबर कम ऑन द फोन इज फ्रोजन ओके नाउ मे बी There is something wrong. The SIM card is still not switched on. I guess it's. Yep. Now it's showing it. Tell. So guys, you can see there's something that's an. What is this? As you can see, guys, there's still. What the hell? It's calling by itself. So that was the all the process that it takes to update the phone. I will be coming back with another video very soon. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. And do hit the like button if you like the video. And uh, if you didn't like, hit this dislike button. But do tell me what you didn't like, and I will try to convert the dislike into a like. You will find all the links. required in the description below and do subscribe to my channel it's a new channel so please subscribe and get me more i'll get more inspirations yeah it's a new channel so please guys i've just now started it i'm learning so uh, sorry for mistakes but yeah i'll be back soon thank you very much